Okay guys, in the last video, I showed you guys how to schedule and then how to reschedule a Red Hat individual exam voucher. Um, so next up is I want to show you the email that you will receive after you have scheduled your exam. Uh, we unfortunately get a lot of calls uh, from students who are like, hey, I didn't know this was required. Um, I went to sit for, for my exam and they wouldn't allow me to because I didn't have this or I had this or vice versa. Um, so again, just wanna show you guys what you will receive and then also to give you a heads up, like, hey, this is what you should be looking for. Literally within minutes of scheduling my exam uh, time slot, I did receive this email. This is a relatively lengthy email. I understand there is a lot of information in this email, but again, it is a one uh, stop shop, if, if you will, of what you will need to know um, and also download and be prepared for to take a remote exam. Um, so first of all, it's going to confirm the date and time. Please look at this. You can see as an example, they have, hey, 4 p.m. is actually going to be 1600. Um, so if you think that you have clicked um, the 4 p.m. slide, but it says 4 o'clock, that's a.m., not p.m., please be very, very aware of your time. Um, as we scroll down, it's going to give me some just great uh, quick links that I can click on as far as uh, getting ready and prepared. Um, it's also then going to go into the system requirements. Please take note of these system requirements. Again, I know it's a lot, um, but these requirements are a hard stop. For example, if you do not have a working microphone, you will not be able to take the exam. If you do not have an external webcam, you will not be able to take the exam. And yes, I did say external, the webcam within your laptop or your computer will not be accepted. You must have the external. It's gonna tell you things about your RAM uh, and how much uh, space is needed. It then as we scroll up, it's going to kind of walk you through the next steps. Um, again, I know we mentioned this in the previous uh, video, but the name on the voucher must match the name of your ID. So you want to make sure that if it does not, that you get that corrected before your exam time slot. It then is going to give you directions on how to download the um, live ISO. It's going to give you a compatibility test. Um, it then is also going to give you uh, things to know about prior to the exam. It's going to give you instructions for the day of the exam um, from things like personal belongings, um, what your workspace should look like, when you should log in. You should be logging in five to ten minutes early. You do not want to show up two minutes prior uh, to your exam Um time slot, if you do not show, if you need to cancel, if you need to reschedule, if you need to go to the restroom, it's going to tell you what to do after. Um, but this is just a really, really great email. And again, I know it's a lot of information, but everything that you need to know about the remote exam is going to be listed in this email. So please, 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 uh, once you have enrolled into a remote exam, be on the lookout for this email, and then most importantly, please read it. Um, that is all for me today. I'm gonna go ahead and, and uh, come back where we can stop the recording. If you guys have any additional questions or concerns, by all means, don't hesitate to reach out to me. Hope you all have a great day, bye.